Presentation Plus is available exclusively with the new fourth edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. With Presentation Plus, your students will be laser focused on the task at hand as you use the built-in presentation tools to highlight key concepts, reveal answers to exercises, annotate passages, play class audio passages and video segments, and even embed web links right into your lessons. Let us show you how Presentation Plus can help you deliver more engaging and effective lessons. Visit the link below or contact your Cambridge University Press representative for a demonstration today. Unit 14, Part 2, Exercise 8, Snapshot. The world we live in. In this exercise, we're going to have different facts. France is the most popular country to visit. It has about 78 million visitors a year. It has about 78 million visitors a year. France is the most famous country to visit. A lot of tourists visit France. About 78 million. The second fact, number two. The most watched World Cup was in the United States in 1994. So a lot of people watched the Cup of 1994, the World Cup of 1994. It was in the USA, in America. It had an average attendance of 70,000 fans a day, every day. About 70,000 fans. The largest clock is in Mecca. The biggest clock is in Mecca, Saudi Arabia. Each of its four faces is 43 meters. 43 meters is about 141 feet. This is the biggest clock all over the world. It's in Mecca in Saudi Arabia. The busiest airport in, in the world is Hartsfield. The busiest airport in the world is Hartfield. Hartfield Jackson International Airport. In Atlanta, Georgia, United States. It has more than 88 million passengers a year. So every year. About 88 million passengers come to this wonderful airport. It's called Hartsfield Jackson International Airport in Georgia State in the United States of America. Avatar is the most popular movie ever. It has made more than $2.4 billion. Avatar is, of course, the most famous film. The longest non-stop flight is from New York to Singapore. It's 18.5 hours long. The longest non-stop, non-stop without stopping. The longest non-stop flight is from New York to Singapore. Passenger stays in the airplane for about 18 and a half hours. 18.5, 18 and a half hours. Antarctica is the largest desert on Earth at 14 million square kilometers. 
5.4 million square miles. It's also the coldest, windiest continent. This is, of course, this is, of course, the South Pole. Antarctica is the South Pole. The highest price for a buck at an auction. Auction? This is a bed. A bed is public sale. A public sale is an offer. The highest price for a buck at an auction is 11.5 11.5 million dollars. What is the name of the book? For the book, Birds of America. Birds of America by Mr. John. This is the name of the writer. The author. The strongest animal is the rhinoceros beetle. It's a, it's a beetle. This is the beetle. This one. Called rhinoceros beetle. It can lift, it can carry 850 times its own weight. So this is the strongest animal. Which facts do you find surprising? I find all of these facts are surprising. What is the tallest building in your country? What is the most popular city to visit? The tallest building in Egypt is the pyramid. Also, the tallest building is Cairo Tower. The most popular city to visit is Sharm el Sheikh. The biggest airport is Cairo Airport. Exercise number nine. Look at the picture. What do you see? Road. A lot of trees. Like a forest. Desert. Sea. Lake Mountain 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 Mount Mountain Mount Mount Cook Mount Cook Mountain Cook Let's start to listen Exercise number 9 Conversation, distances and measurements, lesson and practice. Page 95, exercise 9, conversation, distances and measurements, part A, listen and practice. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what's it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms, and it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Hmm. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year, too. Exercise number nine. Distances and measurements. Lesson and practice. Distance. The distance between two places. And how can we measure it? Like from Cairo to Alex, the distance is about 250 kilometers. This conversation is between Scott and Beth. Scott, I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. So where is Beth from? Beth is from New Zealand. 
So Beth is from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what's it like there? What's it like there? What's New Zealand like? Tell me about New Zealand. Describe New Zealand. Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms and it's very mountainous. Mountainous, it has a lot of mountains. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. So the highest, the highest mountain is Mount Cook. This is Mount Cook in New Zealand. And it's about 3,800 meters high. How far is New Zealand from Australia? What is the distance between New Zealand and Australia? How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. The distance between Sydney and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers. 2,000 kilometers. Well, maybe I should visit you next year too. First question. What's Scott gonna do next year? Scott is going to travel to Australia next year. Is Beth from Australia? No, she's from New Zealand. What's New Zealand like? New Zealand is very beautiful. It has lots of farms. It has a lot of, lot of mountains. How high are the mountains? The highest mountain is Mount Cook. How high is Mount Cook? Mount Cook is about 3,800 meters high. How far is New Zealand from Australia? What is the distance between Australia and New Zealand? The distance between Auckland and Sydney is about 2,000 kilometers. Sydney is the capital of Australia. What is Scott going to do next year? Next year, Scott is going to visit Australia and New Zealand. Number B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else is New Zealand famous for? New Zealand is famous for what? If I am a tourist and I'm going to travel to New Zealand, what I'm going to do? Ninety-five, Exercise 9, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else is New Zealand famous for? Tell me a little more about New Zealand, Beth. Well, it has some great beaches. There are some excellent surfing beaches in the North Island. Well, I don't really like surfing, but I love boating. Really? You can go boating in Auckland. It's one of the most popular places for sailing. And you should definitely try jet boating in the South Island. Oh, I'd love to do that. It sounds really exciting. It is. And there's good skiing in New Zealand. Lots of people go there to ski. It sounds perfect for me. Now I have to go. Listen again. Page 95. Exercise 9. What else is New Zealand famous for? Tell me a little more about New Zealand, Beth. Well, it has some great beaches. There are some excellent surfing beaches in the North Island. Well, I don't really like surfing, but I love boating. Really? You can go boating in Auckland. It's one of the most popular places for sailing. And you should definitely try jet boating in the South Island. Oh, I'd love to do that. It sounds really exciting. It is. And there's good skiing in New Zealand. Lots of people go there to ski. It sounds perfect for me. Now I have to go. Number B. What else is New Zealand famous for? New Zealand is famous for surfing great beaches in North Island. Boating is in Auckland. Jet boating is in South Island. Boating 
American British boating boring is in is in Auckland jet boring is in South Island sailing is in Auckland a lot of people go to New Zealand for skiing boring boring T sub D boring American boating British boating this is a boat boring boring sport jet boring jet boring jet boating boating British American boring jet boring this is jet boring we have a boat with a jet with a motor jet boring very fast surfing surfing this is a surfing board surfing board surfing waves riding a surfer a surfer a person who rides a wave a person who rides waves surfing surfer surfing board the sport of surfing surfing sport when surfing this is when surfing when when surfing skiing water skiing water skiing to ski on water skiing water skiing sailing this is boat and the boat has a sail sailing sailing sport exercise number 10 questions with how Questions with how? Page 96. Exercise 10. Grammar focus. Questions with how? How far is New Zealand from Australia? It's about 2,000 kilometers, 1,200 miles. How big is Singapore? It's 648 square kilometers, 250 square miles. How high is Mount Cook? It's 3,740 meters high, 12,250 feet. How deep is the Grand Canyon? It's about 1,900 meters deep, 6,250 feet. How long is the Mississippi River? It's about 5,970 kilometers long, 3,710 miles. How hot is Auckland in the summer? It gets up to about 23 degrees Celsius, 74 degrees Fahrenheit. How cold is it in the winter? It goes down to about 10 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Questions with how? Hello again guys and welcome to My English Brain. Today we're talking about how. How questions specifically. Alright, let's get started. Okay, and now it's time for the grammar. And today's grammar is questions with how. For example, for a question about the specific frequency of an action we use how often how often for example how often do you fight crime or what's the frequency that you fight crime to answer 
we use specific frequency adverbs and a time period. For example, once a day, once a week, or maybe twice a month, or three times a year, or four times a year. If we want to say every day, we can use every day, or maybe every week, every month, or every year. And we can also use the negative not very much. Remember, how often is for the specific frequency, and we use specific frequency adverbs to answer the question. The next question with how? How long? How long is for a duration, a question about duration. So for example, how long do you spend fighting crime? Now, look at the verb spend. Spend is a verb we use when we want to know and we want to talk about the amount of time that we do something. Now, fighting is the principal verb and it's in the ing form. When we use spend, the principal main verb is always in the ing form. So in the question, how long do you spend fighting crime, is a question about the quantity or the amount of time the person fights crime. So we use an answer with duration. For example, 30 minutes a day, one hour a day, or maybe two hours a week, or a few hours a week. Remember, how long is about the duration, a question about the duration of the verb. The next question, with how, is about ability. How well and how good. It's the level of the skill or the level of the ability the person has with a verb or a specific action. For example, with how well, the question, how well do you run? This question asks about the person's ability to run. When we answer, we use well in our answer. Really well or very well. Pretty well is okay. And about average is also okay. Not very well is not good. When we use the question how well, it's important to use well in the answer. When we use the question with how good, for example, how good are you at running? Notice the difference between how well and the form of the question and how good and the form of the question. With how good, we use are, the preposition at, and we use the verb in the ing. The reason, after a preposition, the verb is always ing. With the question, how good are you at running, we can answer really good, pretty good, okay, and not so good. Again, when you use good in the question, we need to use good in the answer. Now, to review the questions with how. When we ask about specific frequency, we use how often. How often do you fight crime? When we ask about the duration of the action, we use how long. And often we use spend and the verb in the ing. How long do you spend fighting crime? When we ask about the ability, we have two ways. How well and how good. How well do you fight crime? And how good are you at fighting crime? Remember, when we use good, we need to use the verb are, the preposition at, and the verb in the ing form. Very good. Now, it's time to practice. Questions with how? A and B. A question, B answer. Ahmed and Ibrahim. How big is Egypt? How big is Egypt? It's about one million square kilometers. Kilometers, 
T sub D kilometers. How long is the Nile? How long is the Nile? It's about 6,670 kilometers long. How long? 6,670 kilometers long. How old are you? I am 40 years old. How old? 40. 40 years old. How far is Cairo from Alex? It's about 250 kilometers. It's about 250 kilometers. How far? 250 kilometers. How big? 1 million square kilometers. How big? I ask for surface. The surface of land. How long? 6,670 kilometers long. For length. How long? I ask about length. How old? How old are you? 40 years old. How old? Age. How far? How far is Cairo from Alex? How far? 250 kilometers. Distance. I ask about, I ask about distance. I ask about the distance. How big surfs? How long? Length. How old? Age. How far? Distance. A and B, how big is Egypt? It's about 1 million square kilometers. So here, how big, how big surface? I use how big to ask about surface. How long is the Nile? It's about 6,670 kilometers long. How long length? Lens G silent. How old are you? I'm 40 years old. How old are you? 40 years old. How old? Age. I ask about age. How far? How far is Cairo from Alex? It's about 250 kilometers. This is the distance between Cairo and Alexandria and Alex. How far distance? How hot is Cairo in the summer? It gets up to 30 Celsius. 30 Celsius. American 30 Celsius. I ask here about the temperature and the weather. The temperature of the weather. How cold is Cairo in the winter? It goes down to about 10 Celsius. Celsius, 10 Celsius. How cold? 10 Celsius. How cold is Cairo in the winter? 10 Celsius. Temperature. How cold? The temperature of the weather. Again, how big? Surface. How long? Length. How old? Age. How far? Distance. How hot? Temperature. How cold? Temperature. Questions with how? How? Adjective. How far? How big? How high? How deep? How long? How hot? How cold? How? Adjective. Is. Are. Subject. Singular subject. Is. Plural subject. Two, three, four. Are. Answer. It's. Be. It's. Plural. They are. 
most of time it's A. Write the questions to these answers. Write the questions to these answers and practice with a partner. In this question, you write how high, how far, how big, how long, how hot, how cold. How plus adjective. Okay, then one minute you will check your answers. Angel Falls. Angel Falls is 979 meters meters high. Angel Falls is 979 meters high. 3212 feet high. In the answer high questions high. How high? How high is Angel Falls? How high is Angel Falls? So it falls, water falls. How high is Angel Falls? T. A. Question. B. California. California. Cali. Americans, they say Cali for California. Cali. California is about 403 and 3, 970 square kilometers. That's 155,973 square miles. So California, Cali is about 403,970 square kilometers. Kilometers, T sub D. The question here, I talk about what? The surface. The surface of the land of Cali, of California. The question, how big is California? How big is Cali? How big is California? Three. A question. Three. A question. B. The Nile is 6,670 kilometers long. The Nile is 6,670 kilometers long, 4,145 miles long. The question I took about length, long. How long is the Nile? How long is the Nile? 4. Washington DC gets up to about 32 Celsius. American, 32. 32 Celsius. In the summer, 90 Fahrenheit. 32 Celsius, 90 Fahrenheit. Here, this is, we talk about what? Temperature goes up. This is hot. How hot? How hot is Washington, D.C.? How hot is Washington, D.C. in the summer? How hot is Washington in the summer? Washington, D.C. gets up to about 32 Celsius in the summer. Exercise number 10b. Group work. Think of five questions with how about places in your country or other countries you know. Ask and answer your questions in groups. So here in this question, you try to make a question with how. Like, how far is Cairo from Alexandria? How far is Cairo from Aswan? How hot is Aswan in the summer? How hot is Aswan in the winter? How long is the Nile in Egypt? How big? How big is Alexandria? How big is Cairo? Then you ask the question to your friend and your friend answers. 11. Writing an article. Write an article. Write an article for a country's website include general information about the country and recommend the best places to visit. Here, look at the picture. You see what? Greenland, mountain, fog, the weather is foggy, young man is walking, he's hiking, 
This is it's an island, an island in Korea. The island name is Juju, Juju Island in Korea. You start to write an article about any country. Korea's best kept secret. Korea's best kept secret. Korea is one of the most interesting countries in the world. There is a fascinating mix of both ancient and modern in this small North East Asian country. It's famous for its beautiful landscape, rich culture, and delicious food. One of the most popular places to visit is Juju Island, located off the southern coast. This unique island is this rare island is blah blah blah. So, what is Korea like? Korea is one of the most interesting countries in the world. It has a fascinating mix, fascinating, interesting, mix, mixture of both ancient, ancient, very old, and modern, and new, new or new. So, you have here ancient, very old, and you have new cultures, both, both in one country. What's Korea famous for? It's famous for its beautiful landscape. This is a landscape, a green area, rich culture, and delicious food. The food in Korea is very delicious. What are the most places to visit in, in, in Korea? One of the most popular places to visit is Juju Island. Where is it? It's on the southern coast. Exercise number 12. Exercise number 12, reading. Look at the picture here. Things you can do to help the environment. What are the things you can do to help the environment? The environment, the area around us, the area that we are living in it. Over here, different pictures. Look at the picture. Which one is the solution? Which one is the problem? One, cars, two, I've heard a lot of cars, picture two, someone is riding a bicycle and he's wearing a suit, glasses, he has a briefcase. Paragraph 1. Cars are getting bigger. SUVs, large truck-like vehicles, are now the most popular new cars in the United States. They are the most famous cars in the USA. Bigger vehicles burn more gas and increase, and increase problems with acid rain and air pollution. So... These bigger, these bigger cars burn a lot of gas and this is causes air pollution. This is the problem. What is the solution? So, try to walk, bicycle or use public transportation. Walk, walk in the street, ride a bicycle, bicycle, ride a bicycle or use public transportation. Public transportation, buses, trains. And if you drive a car, keep it tuned up. If you drive a car, please be sure that your car is fixed well. This can save gas and reduce pollution. Pollution. 
This can save gas and decrease pollution. Paragraph 2 Look at the picture. Bulb Saving bulb Energy The biggest use of home energy is for heating and cooling. Heating American British Heating The biggest use of home energy is for heating and cooling. To make Maybe to make the atmosphere around you hot or cold. Use the air condition to make the area around you hot or make it cold. So, turn up your air conditioner and turn down the heat. Especially at night. So you should turn up. Turn up your air conditioner. This is an air conditioner. You should turn it up. And you should turn down the heat, especially at night. What is the solution? Replace regular light bulbs with fluorescent bulb, which use less energy. And remember to turn lights off. So the solution, you should replace the regular light bulbs with fluorescent bulbs or saving light bulbs, which use less energy. And remember to turn lights off. Before you go out, turn lights off. So what is the problem of energy that we use for home energy, a lot of energy for heating and cooling? So what should we do? What is the solution? What are the suggestions to solve the problem? Turn down the heat, especially at night, if I'm going to use an air conditioner. Replace regular light bulbs with fluorescent bulbs. Use less energy. Remember all the time to turn the lights off. Paragraph 3 Picture 5 A lot of garbage A tractor What's this? This is a landfill. It's a place where you throw all the garbage of the town or the city. It's a place where you bury your garbage. Picture number six. Recycled. Paper board. Paper board. 100% recycled. Picture five is the problem, is the problem, and picture six is the solution. Products. Each American throws away an average of 10 kilograms of trash every day. This is about 4.5 pounds. Most of the trash goes into landfills. The garbage or the trash go, all of this garbage and all of that trash goes to the landfills, this is the landfills. So what should we do? Reduce waste before you buy by asking yourself, do I? Do I need the item? If it is something I can only Use once. Do I need the thing or not? It is something I can only use one time. Buy products that you can use over and over again. I, you should buy products that you're gonna use it in all your life. If you use disposable products, choose those made from recycled materials. If I'm gonna use disposable products, products that, that gonna be used for one or two, three times only, I'm going to choose those that are made from recycled materials. When I'm going to throw them, the factory going to recycle them again and again and again. So this is the solution. Let's ask some questions about paragraph number three. Where does the trash go the trash goes into landfills. 
How can we solve the problem of trash and garbage? We should reduce waste before we buy things. We should buy products that we can use over and over again. We should buy products that are made from recycled materials. Paragraph number four. Look at the picture. Seven. Shower head. This is the problem of water. Low flow shower head. Eight. Faucet. Faucet. Tap. This is leaky faucet. Leaky. Getting out of this tap. Seven. Solution. Eight. The problem. Shower uses a lot of water in one week. A typical American family uses as much water as a person drinks in three years. Buy a special low flow shower head or take shorter showers. This can cut water use in half. Also, fix any leaky faucets. When you take a shower, you use a lot of water. In one week, a usual American family uses as much water as a person the person drinks in three years. What does it mean? American family uses 2,500 liters of water just in taking showers in one week. What is the solution? Buy a special low flow shower head. This is shower head and it's low flow. Or take shorter showers. You can take shower for a short time. You can take a shower for a short time. Why? Because this is gonna cut water use in half. This is gonna consume water into 50%. Also, fix any leaky faucets. This is a leaky faucet. You should fix it. You should repair it. A. Read the article. Where do you think it's from? Check through the correct answer. A text box, an encyclopedia, encyclopedia, a group of box, a magazine, an advertisement. A. Read the article. Where do you think it's from? Check through the correct answers. A text box, encyclopedia, a group of box, a magazine, an advertisement. The answer is a magazine. Why? A magazine like a newspaper. A magazine because we have here a title, things you can do to help the environment, different pictures, a lot of information in different paragraphs, the problem and the solution, problem and solution, every problem and its solution. So this is a magazine. B. Read the statements, then write the advice from the article that each person should follow. In this exercise, you will read every sentence and then you write an advice like you should, he should, she should. Okay, you can use should plus main verb. Stephanie always takes long showers in the morning. She should buy a low flow shower head. Or she should take short showers. She should take short showers. She should buy low flow shower head. A low flow shower head. Two. In the winter, Ralph keeps the heat turn it up all day. He should turn down the heat during the day. He should 
turn down the heat during the day. Three, Matt buys the newspaper every day, but never reads it. So every day, Mr. Matt buys the newspaper, but he did he doesn't read it. But he doesn't read it. So number three, Matt should think before he buys it. Matt should think before he buys it. Four. Stuart, Stuart drives to work, but his office is near his home. His work, his office next to his house, next to his home. He should, he should walk, or he should bicycle to work. He should bicycle to work. He should ride a bicycle, or he should walk to work. Walk. Five. Shelia, Shelia leaves the lights on at home all the time. So she should buy fluorescent bulbs and remember to turn lights off. Shelia should buy fluorescent bulbs and remember to turn lights off. See, what are the ways you know about to help the environment? So, here. You write your suggestion to help the environment. We have finished. Let's have the homework. Homework for Unit 14. Part 2. You will answer three pages from the workbook. This is number 1, number 2. Unit 14, Part 2. Vocab book. 8. Test. Amusement. Entertainment, entertainment, non-stop, without stopping, non-stop, without stopping, British, non-stop, without stopping, Singapore, Singapore, a place in Asia, Asia, we don't say Asia, no, in English, Asia. Isolated, deserted, isolated, deserted. 11, the words in exercise number 11. Fascinating, fascinating, T soft D. British, fascinating, American, fascinating, wonderful. Culture, locate off. Located, located, be situated, twelve, SUVs, sport utility vehicles, sport utility vehicles, utility, British utility, American utility, T sub D, SUVs, Sport utility vehicles. Vehicles, machines for transporting people or things. Vehicles, machines used for transporting people or things. Short, vehicles, machines used for transporting. Machines used for transporting. Machines for transporting. Vehicles, machines for transporting. Acid rain. Drops of water containing harmful chemicals. Acid rain. Drops of water containing harmful chemicals. Tune up. Tuned up. Tuned up. Adjusted. Fluorescent, 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 giving off a very bright light when electricity goes through it. Fluorescent, giving off a very bright light when electricity goes through it. American electricity, British electricity. Threw away, dispose of, get rid of, threw away. Dispose of, get rid of. 
Landfills. Places where garbage is buried. Landfills. Places where garbage is buried. Over and over again. Repeatedly. Over and over again. Repeatedly. Disposable products. Disposable. S here. The sound. We pronounce S. A Z. Disposable. Disposable products. Disposable products. Things that can be thrown away after being used. Recycled. Collected to be used again. Low flow shower head. Low flow shower head. A device that controls the movement of water. Low flow shower head. A device that controls the movement of water. Leaky. Allowing water to skip. Leaky. Allowing water to skip. Item. A single article. Item. A single article. Faucet. Faucet. Tap. Faucet. Tap. Tap. An encyclopedia. An encyclopedia. A group of box which deals with human knowledge. A group of box which deals with human knowledge.